Good afternoon all. It's quarter to four and I've gone out for another walk. Uh, just got off the train here at Hauling Station and I've got about a seven mile walk planned uh, off to find a burial chamber. I've been there in the past but that was quite some years ago now. So I hastily this morning did a quick uh, route on my memory maps on my phone and I'm going to head up to the North Downs Way and the Pilgrim's Trackway and follow that along and like I say off to see the burial chamber and get in an overnight woodland wild camp why not the weather's beautiful so I just got to pick up my bearings and make sure I'm heading the right direction Stay with me, and I'm sure you'll enjoy my little journey as much as I will. Well, I hope so anyway. Whether you do, whether you don't, leave comments in the comments box. And any queries, any answers, any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. In the meantime, let's find out which direction I have to head off in. Well, so far after leaving the train station, all my walk has been on the road, which I knew that anyway, uh, to start with. But I didn't expect it all to be uphill. <laughs> I should have thought about it more, more carefully. So I do know that the North Downs Way, obviously, is up on the top of the ridge. So I should have thought I'd have some steep climbs yeah it's early stages yet so got plenty of energy and plenty of time and it's just nice to be outdoors again in the countryside so today's uh, Saturday and uh, when I got home from work yesterday I'd seen that the weather was going to be pretty good all weekend so I actually packed all my bike panniers and everything and I was planning on going to the beach this morning but I woke up and I thought it's going to take me an hour and 15 minutes to cycle to the beach to just lay there and cook myself or an hour and a half on the train and take a walk out in the countryside so there was no option really I had to go for the walk either lay on the beach cook yourself and get no exercise or you get outdoors as I'm doing now in beautiful surroundings and get out with nature and enjoy enjoy finding things along the way like I say the burial chamber I'm heading for well, I visited in the past and it was about three years ago a friend of mine actually went there um, especially to do a oil painting for me well it's a oil painting for burial chamber but I think since then I've only been back there once so I checked the wind speed and everything this morning and I've actually got my drone with me so it would be nice to get a few aerial shots of that area so that's what I'm hoping to do anyway. Providing I'm allowed to fly there anyway. So. Oh, I can see some big hills in front of me though. <laughs> Won't be much longer before we leave the road, head up into the woodland and up on top of the ridge. But from here, it looks like quite a steep cliff. I'll spin the camera around and show you. <laughs> So, right up there, above them houses, I'm not sure if you can actually see that, it's like a chalk cliff, that's where we're heading, well, that's part of the walk anyway.
Well, I've just passed through the village of Upper Hauling uh, a few minutes ago and I could have even taken a route straight up into the trees and through the woodlands or take this track that I'm following now uh, they both take me to the same place still heading at the minute uh, the top of that ridge up there which I believe is part of the Pilgrim's Way I might be wrong there I might be thinking a little bit ahead of myself but I know it's up that direction and I know we have to go uphill so <laughs> I thought I'd take the gentler route to start with rather than the steep climb uh, it's just beautiful a few clouds in the sky a little bit more breeze than what I was expecting because uh, I did say the wind was going to be low but it's good because it's keeping me cool so I'm not consuming all my water straight away yeah, it's just lovely nice and peaceful well I was walking in that direction and I came across this sign that says the footpath continues here look through these bushes uh, maybe it doesn't go around the edge of the field like I thought up the woodland uh, just hope it all ain't overgrown oh, that's not too bad I've been through worse oh. uh, better than what it looked actually <laughs> the old Medway Bridge over there in the distance and you won't see it on camera but right in the middle of my screen at the moment is uh, Rochester Castle I just see it way way over in the distance there so anyway let's probably press onwards uphill up until I join Pilgrim's Way or the North Downs Way they do run part and part together in some places uh, like I say I've actually done a lot of walking around Cuxton which is over in that direction and some wild camps over in that way but I've never done one further up here so I know you can't camp near the burial chamber for obvious reasons uh, because it's a safety place for one thing oh. here we go the usual nettles and stingies and brambles and what have you thistles but yeah as I was saying never actually camped up there before so there's plenty of woodlands I'll find a nice little spot uh, later on this evening Let's see what happens. Ooh, that has been a really steep climb so far. I think it must be nearing the top of that ridge. Because there's like a rope swing thing next to me there. So obviously people come up here and play. Oh, that was a steep climb. And it's leveled out quite a bit now and there's lots of brambles around here though it was quite a dense um, pine woodlands I was walking through most of the time oh cool sweat stings your eyes oh, I can see a signpost in front of me and it looks like a trackway so this must be the trackway I was looking for. Whether it's part of the North Downs or part of the Pilgrims, I'm not sure. Or just a trackway. So. Oh yeah, North Downs way. It says out there, look. North Downs way. <laughs> but I believe 
we have to get here and head off that direction. We will check, make sure. Yeah, North Downs Way. I'm happy now I've made it this far, so far. I'm gonna stop, have a five minute break. Take on some water, I think. So I'm walking along the North Downs Way at the moment. And it's pretty easy going at the minute. Now I'm on top of that ridge. It's pretty flat. So I bought myself a special treat for tonight. Uh, to go with me dinner. I got myself two um, burgers for tonight. Got an onion with me and some iceberg lettuce and some burger cheese, barbecue sauce and other bits and pieces I've got um, I think I've got some mug shots, some cheesy macaroni or mac with cheese mug shots usual pepper armies and coffees and what have you but as a special treat I've got myself a can of hobgoblin gold for tonight as a special treat, just while I'm out just the one mind you uh, I don't want a bad head in the morning so <sighs> and it is one of my favourite beers so it's a little bit extra weight to carry but it'll be worth it Ooh. Oh, at least there's a bin there uh, shame it hasn't been emptied for a while by the looks of it <laughs> So I think this is called a woman's walk or woodlands walk or something I've just been passing through <sighs> there's North Downs Way sign there so it continues on in this direction cool. tell you what as soon as you get out of them trees into that sun you really really feel it that is warm It makes you thankful for that little bit of breeze. Well, I've just come across another bin. And this one's actually jam-packed full. How long ago it's emptied, I don't know, but it's bursting at the seams, this one. <laughs> Blue Circle Industries Place, private property. Please keep to your designated footpaths, bridleways and byways. Oh, we have to continue this way. It's nice there's bins dotted around. Uh, that's the second one I've found. It's completely overflowing. Uh, Soul Street train station, three miles. North Downs Way, blah blah blah. North Downs Way, North Downs Way. North Downs Way, North Downs Way, North Downs Way. So, do I go that way, North Downs Way? Or that way? Or that way? Time to check the old maps again. Tranquil Wood. Uh, Woodland Trust Welcome So I think at the moment we've actually left uh, the North Downs Way We're on the Wheeldway path now There's there no camping, no fires etc etc as you'd expect from the Woodland Trust That means I can't even get me little stove out, make a coffee really. So if I get thirsty, I'll be sticking to the water. <laughs> well, still following this woodland walk uh, pathway, and I just checked my GPS. Looks like I'm about three quarters of the way there uh, to the burial chamber. 
Yeah. Extremely pleasant walk so far, I must admit. Absolutely stunning view some places. But one thing I will say, it has been quite hilly in places. But as long as you're half decently fit, uh, it's not wheelchair friendly by all means. As long as you're half fit, it is a pleasant walk. So at the moment it's quarter to six at night and I'm passing through a white horse wood, this is called. I think it's the last bit of woodland that I passed through on this walk today on the way to the burial chamber. Uh, it's been a good walk so far, so this bit seems a bit muddy in places and even though it's brilliant sunshine, such a dense woodland, it's actually quite dark in places. <laughs> I wouldn't like to walk through this one in the winter. Uh, getting closer and closer to my destination well directly in front of me up there is a fox oh, I thought he was going to stay there for a minute uh, he just stopped and looked at me I looked at him turned on my camera uh, hopefully you see him I haven't seen a fox for ages very rarely see him when I'm out walking as well it was nice. Well, this little bit looks fun. Luckily, there's a way round. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm just about to emerge out of um, White Horse Woods. And I do believe that that is back on the North Downs Way. Which, according to my map, if it is, yes, and it is, look. So last time I came, I actually came along the North Downs Way itself from that direction. I believe it's just up here. I have to do a left across about two fields. And on there. That's the first time I've walked the walk I've done today. First time I've been that way, that direction. Well, look, Caxton, six and a half miles. Uh, North Downs Way, Trossley Country Park, one and a half miles. No parking the Pilgrim's Way. Ah, oh, and there's the sign for the place I'm off to visit. Coldrum Long Barrow. Oh, at least there's a bin here and it's not overflowing. It's quite full. But it's not overflowing. That, folks, means I'm nearly, as you just see, nearly at the burial chamber that I want to visit. And last time I came here, like I say, it was many, many years ago. Oh, wow, look at that view. I remember now the view. Yeah, anyway, as I was saying, last time I came here, there was a tree here covered in ribbons and memories that people have left, pictures and what have you, prayers, 
Uh, so it's a very, very sacred place. Bliss is a very sacred pagan place for people. Hence the reason I said, can't camp here, obviously. Or I couldn't. But it will be nice if I can actually get the drone up and get some aerial shots. And then after I finish my visit here, uh, I shall wander back along the North Downs Way in the direction that I would normally travel, uh, the way I came last time. But if I remember rightly, there's not a lot of places along there for quite a few miles. Maybe all the way back to Snodden before I, f I can find a spot to sit down, cook my dinner and pitch up for the night. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I need to go here and pay my respects for a little while. I think it could be at the corner of this field. Like I say, it's been a long time so I can't quite remember. So I've just left old Cauldron Stones, or Cauldron Long Barrow. Uh, there were some people there when I got there. So I asked them if they'd mind <laughs> appearing on my YouTube video, and they didn't mind at all. And they even said they'd give me a follow. So if you're watching, thank you very much. Uh, I managed to get the drone up for a few minutes. Hopefully I've got some decent footage. Obviously I won't know until I get home and edit it, so. But hopefully I've got some nice pictures, so. And once again, thank you for giving your permission for me to film you. So now let's head back up towards North Downs Way. Uh, like I say, it's 7 p.m. So I've got about two hours of daylight left. So I'll start heading back towards Snodland Way. Uh, beyond there you've got Cuxton. Well, haul in first after Snodland, then Cuxton. So I'll pick up the train somewhere. One of them three stations in the morning anyway. Unless I go further and end up at Rochester or somewhere like that. But see how far I get today. And hopefully find a nice half decent spot cook me burgers later, make me coffee, enjoy me beer and get a decent night's kip out of nature. So we've just actually left uh, the North Downs Way now, uh, continue along a trackway uh, because it's in the direction I want to go, whereas the North Downs Way heads back uphill uh, back up in the door oh, sorry back up in the direction where I started this morning uh, I don't want to walk back over my own footprints I don't enjoy doing that I prefer to choose a, a different route uh, hence the reason I don't drive somewhere park somewhere and go in a circle and end up back where I was I like to start one place finish in a different place makes it more interesting. Uh, this trackway there seems to be a lot of bits of branches now on the floor. It's a bit dodgy under your feet if you're not careful. Uh, and it's getting very hilly in places up and down up and down again. But we'll plod along and see where we find. Well, I found myself a little spot. It's not ideal. It's reasonably exposed, but as 
I was saying, it's eight o'clock now. And I don't think we're gonna get many people come along this way. Uh, past the spot where I've found uh, tonight. And as long as I'm up early in the morning. Uh, the only thing is, it's on the <laughs> a bit of woodland that was full of wild garlic a couple of weeks ago, which has now been flattened. But the smell of the garlic is unbelievable. So, I'm be well, at the beginning of this video, I did mention to you that I packed my cycle panniers and everything, and I thought about going to the beach today for the weekend, but instead I decided to get outdoors. Uh, here I am, nearby to my camping spot for tonight, which is the end of today's walk. And I've suddenly realised I've left my gas at home. So I either spend the night camping here with no hot coffee, none of my burgers, which I've got with me, they've defrosted by now, or I've got about a mile and a half walk. It's the nearest train station, uh, so I'd get home about 11 o'clock tonight. Uh, still too late really to cook my burgers. So. I'm at a bit of a conundrum. I'm not sure what I should do, but the one thing I am doing, I'm having my celebrity of goblin gold that I promised myself. So I'm going to drink my can of beer and decide whether to head off home tonight or whether to stay here tonight and just manage with water. I've got plenty of it. Well, I'm not quite sure, but I think that right over there in the distance, well, I say right over there, about a mile and a half, uh, could be two miles away. I believe that's uh, Snodland, and there's a train station there. So, hello again, man. <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying, there's a train station there, and it's only one stop up the line from where I actually got off this morning. So, I think I've made the decision that I'm still going to chill out here and enjoy my beer. But once I've had my beer, uh, I'm going to end my walk um, at Snodden train station and head off home tonight. Now it's the fact of the food. Uh, because all I've had to eat all day is two pepperamis <laughs> and uh, I had a bit of cheese on toast before I left home I could eat my bread rolls with the barbecue sauce and the lettuce and the burger cheese in <laughs> but I've achieved what I wanted to do I set off to see the burial chamber and take some aerial footage of it and obviously to get outdoors well, I must admit, I thoroughly enjoyed that can of beer. It's gone straight to my head though, I must admit. <laughs> Maybe because I've been out walking in the warmth. Uh, yeah. It's made me feel a tiny bit light-headed. <laughs> but as you can see, I'm walking. So I did in the end, made the decision after checking my maps and everything else to head towards uh, Snodland train station and get home tonight. Like I say, it could be 11 o'clock, could be midnight. But even the best of us have a little mishap now and again. So unless I see something truly, truly amazing on the way. I think, wow, I have to stay there. 
I will be going home tonight. So it's not quite the walk and the overnight wild camp I planned. The walk was brilliant. I'm just hoping the footage comes out brilliant and learn by my mistakes even after all these years. That's the second time I think ever I've been out and at the end of the day I realised I've left my gas behind. Well, even though I'm not staying out tonight, this is stunning look. So I've just walked along uh, the trackway there which runs along that tree line and the North Downs way is up over the top there. And I think that is the village of Snodland over there. According to my map, I go down here, do a left and a right and blah, 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 a little bit. Uh, yeah, this is still stunning. What a beautiful evening. Well, I must admit, this is the only bit I never enjoy about being outdoors is walking on roads. <laughs> and these roads, uh, when they're like this, it's not too bad. Uh, but still, I don't enjoy walking on roads. Having to jump in the bush every now and again when a car comes along is not my idea of enjoyment. <laughs> Uh, this road isn't too busy so far, so I think I've got about a mile to go to the train station uh, and My next right hand turn is where I have to head and basically follow that road all the way down to Snodland, so Hopefully it's not too much further on uh, Could be running down past that farm there I'm not sure yet. Uh, time's getting on. It's five to nine. So I must probably be finishing my walk to the train station uh, just as it starts to get dark, I expect. Well, I'll tell you what, this road for a little country lane. You know, I've seen busy. Seems like every three, four minutes, I'm um, getting right into the edge there. Because uh, there's a couple of these to come past. <laughs> Luckily, I can hear them come in and uh, they can see me. Because I've got light coloured t shirt on. Uh, yeah, it's when I'm out this time of night, especially on the road, I think I'll need to invest in a little flashing light on the back of my rucksack and maybe one for the front, just so I could be seen a bit more uh, visible. No public right away. Um, excuse me, but who is going to try and get through there? <laughs> That's one of them crazy signs. Yeah. See, even though I've changed my plans for today, it's still entertaining. So I'm just coming into the village of Snodland now. I've just gone past um, Snodland Bowls Club a few minutes ago. It looks like this is opening up into a, a village. Oh yeah, community centre there. Uh, I've just checked uh, train times from here. And trains are running at quarter past the hour. It's now half past nine. So my first um, train off this will be quarter past ten. <coughs> Not sure how long, much longer it's going to take me to get the train station. Like I say, that'll be quarter past ten. 
and gets me back to the train station where I live at quarter past midnight <laughs> so maybe I should have stayed where I was <laughs> but I made the conscious decision to head off home oh that's nice I ain't going all the way back there now <laughs> sometimes you have to make a split decision sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't well here I am Snogland train station it is 5 to 10 and my train goes at 20 past I mean quarter past so I've got 20 minutes to wait and I should get home like I say round about midnight-ish so mm. 